All right, well, we're headed to Brainerd here. We've got Bella in the back. Um, hopefully she's comfortable enough. She looks like she's fine. And uh, fun stuff coming ahead in Brainerd. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be something to do with cars, trucks, whatever. Think you got the wrong impression about me back. Alright guys, well we're halfway here, I'm meeting someone here at Walgreens in Little Falls, selling them something on Marketplace. And uh, well, from a full tank, pretty much, I drove like, I think like 12 miles on the tank, so it, the needle didn't move at all, and then I left. So it's moved about an eighth of a tank, um, getting about 13 miles to the gallon, uh, which isn't very good. Uh, I was getting like, a, like 11 point something in the city, so... I'm guessing I'm probably getting around 16 right now on the highway, but it quite hasn't quite gotten all the way up there yet, you know? All right, guys. Well, I made it home a while ago. Mustang's parked up there. It's hard to see, but it's dark. But I'm taking the truck out for a good drive here. My black truck that I get back in the spring. My mom's just using it this winter. Um, yeah, so I'm taking it for a little drive here. Take you guys with. I'm just really bored. And I miss it, so I'm taking it for a drive. Turn the heated seats on. Catch you guys in a little bit. Man, would this be a nice family SUV, right? Or sedan, not SUV, I don't want to say SUV. It's so nice. The CT6, the twin turbo V6, thing is so nice. Well, this one just has the 3.6, but they you can get this with a with the twin turbo. But look at that interior. I'd get it with the, the twin turbo, of course. But it's the old truck. And if I had to get an SUV, I literally have like everything picked out in my life. That'd be the car if I had to get a family car. This would be the SUV. The new XT5. Oh my God! It's got a suede dash. Oh my god, dude. This thing is sweet. They're more affordable than people think, too. Like, I mean, if you have, you know, good credit, like, I mean, just be good with your credit. I think it's definitely doable for you go to school, get a job. Here's a CTS 2.0 Turbo. Also a very nice pick. Super nice car. Everything's locked here. Sometimes I leave a car unlocked. Like one time this one was unlocked. But yeah, three beautiful pearl white Cadillacs. And that nice car, you know, as your daily driver, whatever, the CT6, CTS, whatever. Um, and then like I said, a build car like me, personally, my build car would be like a, an Impala SS. Uh, I think it's classy, but also definitely potential, obviously. Um, that'd be like a build car for me. Then I can keep, then my channel would be good and all that type of stuff. So when I think of a build car, in my head I think of defying the odds, um, doing something not everyone would do, people are, that people would look away from, a front wheel drive V8, uh, Paul SS, possibly a GXP. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think that'd be pretty cool. That's kind of like a goal of mine is to be able to have a few cars, you know, whatever, and build up an Paul SS or GXP. And uh, that's what most of you are here for on the channel anyways, right? Start this video by saying, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Um, and a Black Friday, hope you got some good deals. I personally don't go Black Friday shopping, it's just really hectic. I've worked on Black Fridays at like sports stores and retail stores, but never really shopped it. So I'm thankful I was here with my family um, and my girlfriend and her family and stuff. She's chewing on a Starbucks straw. But uh, here's the Mustang. This is just gonna be like a kind of like a car update, situation update, a couple updates on the trucks down there. The only thing not here to update is my brother's Maxima and my Maxima. But, my car first like two seconds ago um, I just put uh, this new wiper on brand new the one I had was like all falling apart and stuff and smearing the window so that's good um, it's a 20 if you're wondering for a Mustang I also put these hood pins on uh, a couple nights ago here they changed look at the front of the car it just looks so good and um, I actually have them coming through the grill I think it looks really cool but, like the lanyard coming through the grill there 
think it looks pretty cool. And it's they're mounted underneath the radiator support. So yeah, there. If you don't know what hood pins are, um, I definitely should have put some on my um, on the GXP. That would look really good, I think. Um, but I mean, if the hood latch breaks for like high performance stuff like that, if the hood latch for some reason breaks, you know, the hood's gonna flap and it's gonna be terrible. Um, these will prevent that, so that's good. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, wheels are dirty. Um, I got the new front brakes on the car uh, about a, I don't know about a week ago. Completely changed how the car drives. And uh, yeah, I'll pick this video up in just a second. Got the first workout in of the winter we were throwing long toss and stuff he was a ex-professional player so i'm a lost friend so he's helping me help me get to that next level but uh finishing the update here on the mustang of course bella was chasing the ball but the update on the mustang basically just got the hood pins brakes she gonna lay right in the snow you can eat that snow she's hot and uh, hood pins, brakes, I did the orange calipers, and inside's the same. Still haven't got my plates. He said they should be here any day, but it was like a week ago and they still haven't come. Got my carbon fiber uh, license plate covers. And uh, next up, I think I'm going to be doing probably tint will be the next thing. Um, I just want to get that yellow sticker out of the window. It's so ugly, and I have to wait to tint it till I get my plates. So, because if it's tinted, the cops won't see that. And then I'll really get pulled over. But sequential taillights is coming really soon. Uh, spark plugs it needs really bad, which are coming soon, but they're so expensive, like 13, 14 bucks for decent ones um, a piece. So add that up times eight, you know, it's not cheap. <sighs> but walking down here, Godspeed lowering springs. Godspeed because they're, they're on the way cheaper end, but they have really good reviews for the price. People like them, so. Then it'll get rid of my suspension, like feeling like it's floaty. Um, get rid of that Ford manifold tick. It's not really, you can't hear it in this one, but you know it's there. Um, so I'll get that. Just give me like an old truck that I like to beat around. Um, keep the oil changed in it, stuff like that. It'll be good. Um, the fuel wheels will come. I mean, I don't want them to come out too far. Probably about to, where you can just see them poking out. Not massive wheels, but definitely a good size wheel. And then my dad's truck doing good. Uh, this one has this one has the bad manifold tick. I'll start it for you guys in a second. Um, for Christmas, I'm getting my dad um, bong tube headers, and it should take care of that tick because it is a crack in the manifold, the exhaust manifold. So um, headers should take care of it, and I'm getting him his cold air intake with it that he really wants that I have on the black truck, the black wrinkled cold air intake. It just it helps these things breathe. I forgot the code on this. We cannot start it. Keys are in it, but beautiful truck. I love it. Um, this would look amazing with some black fuel mavericks or not fuel mavericks uh fuel octanes or just fuel wheels in general um it's already it's lifted i think an inch i don't know what the lift kit is it might be a leveling kit but the four dealership told my dad it's got a suspension kit and it is bigger than an average f-150 for sure it's on bigger tires too and the next video should be pretty good um next video will be diagnosing a problem with my old gxp for the for the girl who bought it she asked me if i could help her it won't start right now in the winter i'm thinking it's the fuel pump because i had fuel pump issues last winter and this winter it's already been pretty cold so she said it won't start it has to be like very warm for it to start and i'm thinking fuel pump i don't know maybe the battery is bad but it's got a pretty new battery the alternator was relatively new um so yeah catch you guys in that video definitely stay tuned for it it'll be fun we'll get to see the gx people get to hear it we'll get to drive it so i'll catch you guys then peace out all right guys so well i was just about i was about an eighth of a tank and i filled up with premium at 271 a gallon for 91 and it was 28 dollars 80 so that's not bad i mean it's not the biggest tank but i mean it's i get about 230 miles to a tank and uh, the car is it's fairly practical minus the gas mileage which is pretty bad i get about 14 right now um but it is practical if you look back there. Bella's pretty comfortable sprawled out. 
on her blanket, which she already untucked. I had it over the entire seat, tucked really good. But she just doesn't like them tucked. I don't get it, so. I don't know, but we're heading home here. Car's driving great. You know, with the new brakes, the shake is completely gone. I'm on the brake pedal right now. There's no movement. It's such a better car with brakes. And once I get the new uh, lowering springs, I won't have any like floatiness, I guess, feeling. They're not lowering springs, coilovers. They're not lowering springs. I have springs. But once I get the coilovers, it's gonna feel really good. And then lower control arms, uh, new outer tie rods, a um, bunch of stuff for the suspension before power, and then uh, should be good to go. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to pick up my girlfriend. We're heading home. I'll probably pick this video up when we get home or tomorrow. We'll Always pull over for emergency vehicles. Tonight I'll probably be posting why I sold the GXP, and we're going to go talk about that right now. It's a beautiful day out, beautiful evening right now. I'm not sure what time it is actually. Um, 3.49, so, beautiful day, so let's go talk. All right, so we're here at the spot, it's just this park here that no one's ever at, there's just one car. But I, I almost don't want to shut my car off yet. I want it to warm up because it's cold in here. And uh, it's not good to start it, drive it for a couple minutes in the cold, and then shut it off right away again. So I think we're going to leave it running. Oh, it's freaking chilly out. It's brisk. But So we're going to talk about why did I sell my... 2007 Grand Prix GXP for this. Well, I did not sell it for this car. I just sold it and I was without a car for a couple months, like a month. And this car um, was sitting on a lot. I got it that I got a Trans Am from, if you guys saw those videos, the red Trans Am was, had some work done to it. You know, I had a small light cam, um, full SLP upgrades, stuff like that. It was fast, really fast. Faster than this for sure. Faster than my GXP for sure. Like, I, I, like, first and second gear, you couldn't even accelerate it, and it would just spin. But the car had some issues, so they let me turn it back in for this, because I needed a daily driver. And that's what this is. Um, only thing it needs now is spark plugs. I got the new brakes on it. Everything is great. Just need spark plugs. And I'm waiting on my plates to come in, so I can get that ugly yellow sticker out of the window and tint it. But... Um, yeah, I love it. It's 05 Mustang GT, but the point is I sold the GXP because I had had it for over two years, two and a half years. Um, that's, that's a good amount of time for me to keep a car. I like to get in and out of cars, you know, I like to experience a bunch of different stuff. I don't just keep one thing for a long time. It's just not who I am. Holy crap, my hands are cold. Let's, we're going to go in the car. Jesus. Oh, it's so cold. My hand hurts. Um, but yeah, I don't keep cars that long. Um, I w like, I like that I kind of cycle through them, but I also wish I did keep cars long. I just don't. But the point is, um, I put, well, I bought it with 109,000 miles for like 5,900 bucks or after tax and everything. I think I financed about 59 or 6,000, something like that. I paid it all the way down to like 1,800. Um, and then I sold it and I got $5,500 for it. Uh, cashier's check from because the girl financed it um, and then you know her bank affinity gave me a check for my bank to pay the car off and then a check for me for the extra which was like a good amount extra so I mean two and a half years later I, I finished with like 188 or 89 thousand miles so I put a lot of miles on it in two and a half years and I still came out with just a little bit less than I paid for it with all the fun I had with the car. So I basically just paid gas and insurance if you look at it that way. Um, and then mods, but yeah, it was a fun car. Uh, I love it. I definitely want another one. I miss it, but I think when I get another LS4, I think it's gonna be a 2009 black Impala SS with the black interior. 
and I will be getting one of those. I don't know when, it won't be too long. It'll for sure be by spring, because I want that. That's a much better daily driver than this. This is not the best daily. And then um, late spring around my birthday, maybe I'm gonna trade this in on a black Mustang. Um, black or maybe like gotta have a green, I don't know. Pr probably trade this in on a Mustang GT with a manual. The only reason it's a manual is because I broke my leg. I say a lot. Broke my leg this past summer, so I still can't drive a stick yet with my left leg. It's just too much pressure. I snapped my shin, so. Yeah, it's the reason I had to get a automatic. The Trans Am was a manual, and it was just too much. That's another reason I had to return it. I couldn't drive stick yet. Just hurt way too bad after I would drive it. Like, in the moment, like, you know, like, shifting and pressing the clutch is fine, but after is when I'd really feel it, and then I couldn't walk. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I made out with the Grand Prix on, not quite on top, but basically on top. Or even, I guess you could say even. I mean, I got 5500 for it. I paid like fifty four ninety five for it before tax. And then after tax, it was basically six grand. So, um, lost like 500 bucks in two and a half years. Not too bad. I uh, went to a good home. She's local. I can see the car all the time here in St. Cloud. Um, really just, I mean, there was no issues with the car. It was great. Um, transmission was so, showing signs of age, but I mean, it, it was original transmission with just, uh, I think it had a shift kit and then I put an inner or a trans cooler on it. Um, it was, re I think it was rebuilt a while ago. Um, at 66,000 miles, that's when the transmission was serviced. It had a sticker in the engine bay saying it and who did it, but I didn't look into it. But um, it was a great car for me. Uh, she loves it. She still loves it every day I ask her. <laughs> I, I bug her a lot. Um, but right now it won't start. I'm thinking it's the fuel pump. And she asked me if I could help her today or tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. It's just getting too late now. And I'll definitely take the take you guys with it and show you guys the car and update on it. And uh, we'll get it started and go for a ride in it once I figure out the issue. She says it won't start um, most of the time when it's cold. Um, I'm thinking it's the fuel pump because it, I was having fuel pump issues last winter where it wouldn't Like I wouldn't hear the fuel pump prime when I turned the key on And uh, she's not she doesn't really know much about cars. So I'm gonna help her out and uh, I'll figure it out gives more content on the car I definitely want to buy it back <laughs> Like if I if I start doing a lot like better, you know doing really good I'm definitely gonna ask her if she'll sell it back to me um, It'd be a cool car to have if I could get it back again, which I, I mean, she said she would sell it back to me if I wanted it, um, but I just, it's gotta be the right price. But like I said, Black and Paula SS is probably the next vehicle for the channel. And then after that, uh, probably like a Mustang to replace this Mustang and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's why I sold it. Just, I got a good price for it. It was getting older. Um, the next LS4 I get, I, like I said, I want, I want to get a Black and Paula SS. I want to murder it out, lower it, uh, probably 19 by 9 wheels, 19 by 9 and a half, um, or maybe 18 by 9 and a half or 19 by 9 and a half, something like that for the wheels blacked out. I mean, those nice uh, headlights with like the LED bar in them, nice taillights, you know, tint. I want to do something really fun with it. It's a little more classy of a car, I think. The Grand Prix is a little bit more of a younger person car, I think, uh, than the Impala. I think the Impala is more of like a professional car. Um, classy i don't know i'm not saying it's the best ls4 that that'll be a video coming up in my opinion on what the best ls4 car is and for which reasons and stuff like that that'll be coming soon so definitely stay tuned for that um yeah uh, i've driven plenty of ls4 so i think i can voice my opinion <clears throat> but yeah that's basically why i sold it just wanted to clarify on um, this short kind of short video on why i sold it getting old you know I, I like switching cars experiencing a lot of things there's a lot of cars i want to own while i'm young i want to own you know a new mustang gt like an 18 or 19 uh, with a manual i want to own a camaro ss like a newer one i want to own a hellcat or a scat pack preferably a hellcat you know a lot of cars so i get out of cars like every year and a half two years um the gxp was a little bit longer and I'm working my way up credit wise so I can start getting into those newer vehicles. So it's almost here. I'm in school right now and just what I like doing, uh, I'm gonna be buying and selling cars. That'll be really good content for this channel if you guys like that. And it won't be like dumb cars, boring cars. It'll be cool cars like old GTPs, you know, Mustang GTs, stuff like that. Um, some older Camaros. I'm gonna buy and sell cars. Uh, it's what my knowledge is, is cars. And um, 
eventually when I go to the bank um, for like a business loan or something to start up my business, you know, I'll get, I'll get like a, I don't know what, probably a Cummins, but I'll get something bigger so I can, and a trailer so I can haul the cars, but th that's my goal. If you guys know Lucky's Wheels and Deals on YouTube, like that, except for I want to go to like dealer auctions and stuff and get my dealer license and get cars like he does, except, except for he drives them back, he doesn't have a trailer. But yeah, Lucky's Wheels and Deals, check him out on YouTube, that's kind of what I want to be. He's got a couple sweet vehicles, he's got a brand new Z06, brand new blacked out, midnight edition 1500 Silverado. His wife or girlfriend or fiance has a white brand new Camaro SS Redline. Uh, he's got an 04 Monte Carlo SS Supercharged. It's really cool. 05, 05. I think it's an 05. But uh, yeah, he's a really cool channel. Go check him out. Lucky's Wheels and Deals if you haven't seen him, by the way. I've been watching a lot of his videos. But uh, yeah, that's basically what's coming for the channel. And um, mods for this, of course, throughout the winter and spring. And then when I trade it in, I'll take those mods and either sell them or if I get another S197, convert them to it. Unless it's a 5.0, which most likely will be, then I'll have to just sell these engine parts. But the wheels I can keep, stuff like that. All right, guys. So the next video after this one, uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe. The next video will be my thoughts on the 2019 Camaro SS. I'm going to do a walk around of it right now, um, and a 2019 Mustang GT. So stay tuned for those. Uh, voice my opinions. Do a nice, thorough walk around of them.